play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew and Steve here from AnyWarGaming.com and welcome to the first ever episode of Age of Sigmar, second edition, Battle Report. <laughs> I the one over there. Nailed it. Oh, if you can't tell, I am full of exuberance and energy. <laughs> Exuberant energy because Exuberant. second edition, I've been having so much fun playing Age of Sigmar uh, these past few months. And so second edition has just brought that up to a whole new level. And so we are so excited to bring you a ton just a metric ton and an imperial ton is close to the same of Age of Sigmar content. Starting today, we're going to be almost daily, almost, I say almost because we'll basically put it out as fast as we can make it, which for the next few days will pretty much be daily. Age of Sigmar content. Today we've got four videos for you. Nice. Four videos. We've got this very first Age of Sigmar second edition battle report that you'll ever see. It's not the first one we've played. We've filmed some others. They'll be going out later. And then we've got a second Age of Sigmar battle report that um, it was you and it was Quirk. You, it was was you and Quirk. Quirk. Yeah. yeah, it was you and Quirk. And that is in the vault at the link below. And we've got two reviews. We got the first video that is what has changed from first to second edition Age of Sigmar. So Steve and I sit down, we go through the core rule book, and we talk about every change that has happened. So if you if you've been following Warhammer community or other places, they've they've sprinkled in. Here's this is changing, this is changing, this is changing, but they haven't told you everything. We basically concisely go through, this is all that there is, and then in the vault we do a first impressions video based on the games that we've been playing and talk about the impact that we think the new rules will have on the game. Yeah. Yeah. All that is today, all that is in the links below. A couple of them are in the mini wargaming vault, so if you're not a vault member, now is the time to sign up, get a free seven day trial, get instant access to everything and follow the content. Tomorrow, if everything goes as scheduled, we're going to be putting up the two part Malign Sorceries review and two battle reports using Malign Sorceries. On Saturday, we're going to be doing two more battle reports using the General's Handbook 2018 and a two-part review of the General's Handbook 2018. And then starting next week, we're going to be having Faction Foci, or Focuses, by layman's term. We're going to be having the Traveling Through the Realms series, which will be me giving you the lore of all the realms, followed by battle reports in each of the realms. That's exciting. We have lore videos coming, and eventually, within the next few weeks, we're going to be having an entire How to Play Age of Sigmar 2nd Edition so that you can learn and you can pass it on to friends who want to learn the game as well. Just like our How to Play 40K series, which has been very popular. Whew, all right, that's a lot Lots. for the intro. <laughs> so our very first game ever will be Stormcast Eternals versus the Eidneth Deepkin. Yep. I apologize, we're still working on getting the new Stormcast Eternal models painted, so they're not gonna be featured in this battle report. But we are using the General's Handbook 2018 rules. We're not gonna be using Malign Sorcery today. We're gonna be sticking more to the core rules just so that we can showcase all the stuff that's changed, but it's still going to be a good, beefy 2,000 point game. Oh, yeah. A lot of feet on the, on the ground, great looking terrain, mostly made by, actually all made by Greenleaf Terrain. Yeah. And um, just going to have a lot of fun here. So, and we're going to do our best to not get rules wrong. In a normal day we get rules wrong, but this is a brand new edition, new General's Handbook. So if you think we got stuff wrong, and I say think because, you know, there's going to be a lot of people thinking we do things wrong and it might actually be right because so many things have changed, leave a comment below like you normally do and we'll talk about it, okay? But be nice, all right? Thanks. Okay, just because you're on the internet doesn't mean you can't be nice. I don't know, I think I don't know, I know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's jump into the game. Let's take a look at the armies, the board, and the scenario. Start over here with my 2,000 points of Stormcast Eternals, and lo and behold, for the first time ever, I am bringing not one, but two War Scroll Battalions. And actually, it's the first time I've ever brought any War Scroll Battalions. But in second edition, they seem to give you even more benefits for having them because they each give you an additional command point at the beginning of the game. That's on top of all the other stuff that they already gave, like artifacts and um, the extra, like the dropping guys faster, that kind of stuff. And a lot of them got points reductions for the Stormcast Eternals. But that's neither here nor there. So what we have here is uh, we have two War Scroll Battalions. The first one is a Thunderhead Brotherhood. That is three units of Liberators and two units of Judicators. So they have two special rules. One is that if you try to fire through the Liberators at the Judicators, the Judicators get plus one of their save. The second is if any a unit from this battalion is within eight inches of two other units from this battalion, they get to reroll wounds of one. So that's kind of handy. The Judicators will be able to reroll wounds of one from their with their shots as long as they steer, stay near their Liberators and they're a little more protected. Kind of cool. Really, I just was looking for battalions that I could bring to get the extra command points so I could showcase to you guys all the extra command stuff 
and that's, this is one of the easier ones to bring. The other one is the Hammer Strike Force. This is a unit of prosecutors and two units of paladins, paladin being a keyword. So I brought a unit of retributors and a unit of uh, protectors. There's a star soul mace in there, because we have one, so why not? And this one has two special rules as well. You actually start the two units of paladins in the celestial realm, if you want. And normally, the Stormcast Eternals can do that, and then they be placed on the table at the end of the movement phase, or in the movement phase, anywhere more than nine inches away from enemies, and then they can't move. But with this one, you can place them anywhere within six inches of the prosecutors, and it does not give you a restriction of how far away from enemies you have to be. So you just have your basic three-inch restriction that you'd have to stay away. So in that, with the new command ability to be able to automatically run six inches, and the prosecutors being so fast, it could do a really be a really good combo. If the prosecutors are dead before they come on, then they just come on nine inches anywhere on the table away from enemies. The second thing is the turn that they come on, if they come on with the prosecutors, they get plus one of their wound rolls. So they can come in hitting hard, and we know the retributors love to dole out mortal wounds, and the protectors love to dole out extra damage to monsters, which there is one on the other side of the table. And then we've got some heroes. I had to kind of load up as many heroes as I could because I need the heroes to actually use the command abilities. And it's nice now because every hero has access to the three basic command abilities. And on top of that, if you use command points, any of the heroes can use their own command abilities unless it has a restriction, such as the Lord Celestin says that he has to be a general to use his personal command ability, so I made him the general, because why not? And his command ability is that uh, all units within either seven or nine inches, I'll look it up, get plus one to hit. And then, which is really nice, very, very nice. And then we've got the Lord Celestin on Drakoth. His command ability is all units within 24 inches do not have to take Battleshock tests. So if I think there's going to be a round where you're going to be, well, Steve's going to do a lot of damage to me, I might pop that one. The thing is, they're all just five-man units. And the Liberators have a low enough bravery that if they lose one, they could lose one more. But the other ones have to lose at least two. But it could make a difference. I don't know. We'll see. But it's nice to know that I could use it if I want to, even though he's not the general. And the uh, and on top of that, because I have two War Scroll Battalions, I can do three artifacts in total. So the Lord Celestin was given the Mirror Shield Armor. Basically, it's a minus two to shoot him. The Lord, Dra the Lord Celestin of Drakoth is a minus one to hit him in close combat. And the Lord Relictor, I gave him the upgrade so that he can unbind spells. And the Lord Relictor has his prayers. I gave him the additional prayer, which on a four plus blesses weapons, and they get a plus one to, no, on sixes to hit, they get additional attacks. So imagine chaining that with the Retributors, as long as the stupid Deepkin over there don't give me too many minus ones to hit. <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's neither here nor there. And then we got my Knight Heralder, who's just there to, to toot his horn and hurt guys around terrain and just be an extra hero to run up with the guys and give them their reroll charges and faster runs and uh, ignore battle shock tests, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's my Stormcast Eternals, 2,000 points. Actually, it's 1960. So if Steve has more than 1960, then I get to take a Triumph, uh -huh, which I'll probably forget to use because it's so many rules to remember. So my 2,000 points of Odd Death Deepkin here, a lot of new models for me. So uh, first of all, we'll say, hey, Volturnos here is leading the army. He's my Achillean king, my general. But he's also be part of the Royal Council Battalion. So there's a Ishran Tidecaster and a Soul Scryer in the battalion as well. This will give uh, Volturnos a command ability that allows him, as long as those two characters are nearby, uh, give three units plus three inches to their move. Nice. Uh, so the two characters with it, we have a Soul Crier who probably will be sitting with Volturnus instead of Elf Linking, and my Tidecaster will take a Coral Ring, which will allow her to reroll one casting and unbinding once per game. Uh, her spell will be the Tide of no, sorry, Steed of Tides, so I can transport a unit across the field. We're also going to bring an Eidolon of Aspect of the Sea with the Cloud of Midnight and the uh, ooh, Tide of Fear. Spell so Tide of Fear will be minus one to hit within 12. The Cloud of Midnight is a pop at once per game in any phase at the start of the phase, and this model may not be targeted by any sort of attacks in that phase, but also can attack back. So it's in the fight phase, I can't fight back either. Is that when you like pop them out front? Yeah, pop that ability and I can't shoot anything, or too many things charge them, but yeah, it's usually shooting or charging, but yeah, not shooting because in the the Deepkin rule is that I can't shoot something that's further away from something else. Right. I have to shoot the nearest. If he's up front. Then I can't shoot anything. Right. Okay. 
Well, I have some shooting, so that'll matter. Yep. Now for battle line, we have two units of reavers because reavers, and because Volturno. You sure they're reavers and not thralls? Oh, sorry, the thralls. I will never <laughs> not call them reavers. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, Volturno is my um, general, the eels over there, the Ishlin guard, are also battle line. These are the ones that ignore all rend. They're not super killy, but they're, they're pretty defensive. Ignore rend, so all rend. All rend. Oh, so they just have, what's their save? Five up, four and up? So it's four up, but uh, when they charge, it's three up. And they can't be modified. No, they by can rend. be. Oh, they can't be modified. Yeah, not by rend. Now, uh, the turtle there also hands out cover. Uh, so that helps yeah. out. Yeah, that, you know, helps Well, out when they charge price. and get the three plus, the cover won't help them, right? Right, but they're, they, get the, they get the three plus anyway, so it tends to be the same save all the time. Oh, because in your first turn, if you don't reverse the tides, you're in cover. Oh, awful that. Yeah. yeah. I won't be able to reverse tides because Volturnals has to be my general, and to reverse the tides, it has to be the uh, tide oh, caster. Okay, so I can know the order. You know the order it's going to be. It's third turn, big whammy. Yeah. So typically, those yields have a three up ignoring cover save, as long as, uh, sorry, ignoring rend. So as long, they're going to be in cover, or they've charged, can't claim cover, and get a three up anyway. Right. Pretty good. Pretty good. And that is your 2,000 points? That is 2,000 points. And you got a couple of boats? Yeah, they're free in the list, so they're all full on the table somewhere. Once yeah, why not? So more in a league list, the Thralls, of course, being your really good battle line and being able to do a lot of damage, but not a lot of models, which I'm surprised by because I'm playing Stormcast Eternal, so usually I'm outnumbered. Yes, well, you have them real big guys, and I have a couple of really expensive models in there. Actually, three really expensive models. This is a very, very elite. It's elf, right? It's very elite. Yes. And just to be clear, this is not a monster. Not a monster. Should be. I know the guy is little, but like, let's just his cloak is huge. Yeah. And his base is big. I just want him to be a monster. How many wounds does he have? Uh, twelve. Does he lose abilities as he goes down in wounds? No. <laughs> Did nothing. <laughs> none, of, none of the none of the downsides of a uh, monster whatsoever. I mean, none whatsoever. Now you mentioned one artifact. You didn't mention a second. You said that she has oh, an artifact. Oh, no, I did. Uh, the second one is the Cloud of Midnight on the Eidolon. Oh, that's, a, that's, yeah, an that's an artifact. That's an artifact. I thought that was just an upgrade that he has or no, something. No, the thing with the Eidolon not being a monster, the spell that the Tidecaster took, uh, Steed of Tides, transports another unit on the, like another hero that's not a monster anywhere on the table. And he's a hero. And he's a hero who's not a monster. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So he gets all the benefits of a monster having those high wounds, but all the none of the negatives of being none a monster. Because he can he can claim cover. He well, I guess also he has the negative of a giant base. Yeah, there's that negative, I guess. Which can be a positive. Who knows? That's eh, usually a negative. If you're a single model, it's usually, usually a negative. Because a lot of more guys but to he attack also you. No, it's more area. So. It's yeah, it's both. So that's your 2,000 points, and it is 2,000 points? It is 2,000 on the nose. All right, so I get a triumph. If I had 10 less points, I'd also get another command point. But this game, there's hard to little, it's hard to wrangle points around like that. Yeah, it it's really hard. Crazy. It really frustrates me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just roll for a triumph. Since I have less points, I get to roll in the triumphs. This is part of the pitch battle rules. It's the same as first edition. That hasn't changed. So, But I think that one of these changed. But either way, let me roll four. Bloodthirsty. Once per battle, when a friendly unit is selected to shoot or fight, I can say it's bloodthirsty, and they can reroll failed wound rolls until the end of the phase. We're going to be playing on this gorgeous table. Pretty much everything here is made by Greenleaf Terrain, except for these trees are foreground. And uh, we're going to be playing places, three places of power. So there's three objectives in the middle of the board, basically. One, two, three. Only heroes can take them. You have to be within three inches. And only one hero can control it at a time. It's the first hero to show up, basically, controls it. And if they leave and another hero comes, then they get it instead. If you kill a hero with a hero, and the hero that you killed was controlling the objective, then the other hero who killed the hero that was controlling the objective I now know, controls I the objective. <laughs> basically, heroes get the objectives. Okay. <laughs> and at the end of each of your player turns, you get a number of points equal to the number of objectives you control times the battle round number. So the first turn, they're worth one. Second turn, they're worth two. So it's a bit of an escalation. They get worth a lot more later on in the game, which means that at the first, it's not as big a deal to get them. But as soon as you start sitting on one, you can start to rack up those points pretty darn fast. Other than that, we got a 12 inch deployment on each side, like this. We got a gorgeous table, which I want to just keep looking at forever. Look at that waterfall. Does mm. that make you feel so peaceful? Mm. You don't realize that the waterfall is actually being like used by the, they're like swimming through here. This should be your deployment, like right here. They're like, like woohoo, woohoo, <laughs> like a bunch of fishes. And uh, yeah, we got, we got all sorts of soggy ground all over, the, all over the place right now because of your dumb, stupid Tidecast stuff. I don't think it's dumb because of rules. It's more like, man, you made the ground soggy. I'm heavy. I'm in heavy armor. This is, this is kind of hard for me to walk through. <laughs> and so we're going to roll off, and the winner gets to choose which side they're on. And then we go alternate deployment back and forth. 
Whoever finishes the point first gets to choose who has the first battle round, as per the use. And I think that's really all there is to it. We, I start with two command points, you start with one. Two. I have a thing as well. A thing. The Royal Council. I have a battalion. No, you only start with the. You don't start with any command points normally. Well, I have one. No. Oh, you start you with don't. two. Because I have two War Scroll. Have, yes. That's right. One you start with zero command points. You generate saying. them in the hero phase, which right. means if you don't go first during the other player's so you turn. You have three on your first hero phase. Once I get my first hero phase, yes. Yeah. So it'll and you'll have two in your first hero phase, unless you've already used one. Who knows who goes first? That's how it works, though. Okay. And you got to place your two boats before we yes. knew. Okay. We don't even know what side we're going to be on yet, so that's why he's placing them like that. Let's roll. Let's roll off, Steve. Ba -da 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 run wait, one. Wait, wait, last game we played, you went and picked the last turn, so I win. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what we got to base it off of. Five, <laughs> one. Well, I'm consistent. Which side would you like, Steve? I definitely want this side. You want that side away from the boat that you placed? Yes. It's more defensive. That's my style. Oh, is that why you stuck it over there? Because you thought I would take the side with the boat? I would, uh, hopefully, if you won, you, you might want to not let me have that side. You're making me take all my models from there all the way over here? I am. Um, I had to do the same thing. Yeah, I guess I'm it's true. I'm tired just thinking about it. All right. <laughs> Let's start deploying back and forth. So we both had the same number of drops if we maximized dropping entire War Scroll Battalions. And so you were going to be able to beat me anyway, so I actually split mine up a lot just so I could kind of wait for you to deploy yours. Yep. And so you got your whole army on the side. Now you might think, hey, Steve, what are you doing? You're nowhere near the objectives. But he does have a spell that lets him teleport across the field for heroes. Yeah. So how does that spell work? You choose a hero and they go where? Uh, you're on the table, nice with the enemy. Okay, so basically lift them up and strike them in the deep. You work good yeah, these guys give a... A new meaning to deep strike. Yeah. Get it? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> jokes. Ah, oh, jokes. <laughs> so you got them all packed together right here, ready to go forward. This is going to be an easy objective for you to grab. This one, there's one right here that's going to be easier for you, but I've tried to, to threaten that. And then, of course, I have, you got nothing over here, so i got to go for this one. But I know that you can bring stuff over there, too. And I'm sure you have other tricks up your sleeve, too. So I've got your typical kind of battle line going across the Liberators. I'm not going to use too much of the synergy for the uh, Thunderhead Brotherhood, because these guys have to be behind them. And with the way the terrain is, maybe I'll move them up to be in front of them. But they also have to be within eight inches of two other units from it. And some of them are going to benefit from that, but not all of them. I just don't want to restrict my movement too much based on that. And I do have my, uh, my prosecutors out, and the two paladin squads are in the Celestial Realm, currently sharpening their weapons and saying their prayers to Sigmar and getting ready to come on down. So it should be interesting. You get to choose who goes first in the first turn because you deployed all your guys first. What are you uh, going to choose? I definitely want to uh, go first. You want to go first, grab those objectives? Yeah, or can. control the table? Or who knows what? You never go first, right? No, who? I'm going to go first. I've gone first lots of times. I've also lost a lot of my Age of games. <laughs> no, 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 I was going to go. We're going to find out. You're going to go? Yeah. So first turn. Yes. I didn't have to deepkin. Thank you, Bandua War Games, for this awesome mark the controller thingy, which worked really well in 40k and works even just as well in Age of Sigmar. So we got two command points. I'll be my, it'll be Owen will be me, and the enemy will be Steve, because of course Steve's the enemy. <laughs> we both start with, uh, I start with two command points, he starts with one, but in turn one in his hero phase, he'll gain one, so he'll be up to two. And let's go. First thing I'm gonna do in my hero phase is I'm gonna use the command ability that Volturno Share gets from the Royal Council, and I'm gonna get three units, additional three inches of movement. It'll be these guys here. Actually, what are they, they called? Really what are they called? It. My thralls actually don't need it because they're going to make their run. I'm going to double check something. Uh, I want to get with all oh, the 12. Maybe with. Oh. Well, they don't capture objectives, remember? No, I know. That's what and nor do they I contest want protection. them. I want protection. Um, so, no, they're not going to get it. So, it's going to be these thralls, and it's going to be both of these characters. Yeah. Are you asking me? Yeah. No, it's the turtle. I was actually debating on whether he gets it. <laughs> I don't care. But so there's two in them? Yeah. I'm going to do my issue in Ritual. Ritual, but so, you got some bonuses now. Normally it's yes. 10 plus. But I get plus two having a priest helping out the person who's going to do it. So that's eight? Yes. If I was close to a, a ship, it'd be seven. Oh, okay, so eight higher. 
Nope, you're not allowed to do your rituals no around rituals. me. I've never once seen you do these rituals. I do not believe they even exist. Never once, eh? No. Oh, wow. You've <laughs> always failed it. No, no, I think... No, they don't exist. Fair. <laughs> I gotta fix something. So, uh, he's not gonna get the extra movement, uh, heal. The turtle. I yeah. told you it was the turtle. Yeah, it was. You're just trying to... I don't have a spell yeah, target. Uh, I'm gonna call for both fields. Okay. Of... We're gonna have the Eidolon put Mystic Shield onto the turtle. <laughs> it only rerolls ones now, Steve. It's not broken like it used to be. You got That's it. Enough. Yeah. You close up to unbind. I my Lord Relic could unbind if he's in thirty inches. Uh, we checked. He is not close enough to any of your wizards in this turn to unbind. We're gonna let Tycasta here send up the Soul Cry here with Steed of Tides or Tide of Steeds. Oh, you did not. Now, doesn't he get to re-roll a failed casting once per turn or something? Or once do per need, game? Do I need to do it now? Once per game you can re-roll failed casting. I don't think I need it that bad. No. I don't think I need it that bad. Okay. That is it for my hero phase. We're going to start moving. Nothing else really worth doing. Nothing else. Now, the Tides of Death chart, we are in the first battle round. My we whole army is in cover. We should mention that. The first turn is oh. your own cover. The second turn is you can run and charge. Yes. Third turn is you get to fight first. Yep. Fourth turn you can retreat and charge. But and then it resets. Because I'm food hand. Uh, third turn, I will also flood tide, so it's uh, I a run and charge still. Hold on, you mean turn four? Yeah, sorry, turn four. So if it says now, retreat and charge, it's actually run and charge yes. both times. Also, when I'm affected by that, because I'm food 10, I reroll all hits of one on those turns. And my mounts, because I'm food 10, reroll all wounds of one. Nice. So just ones, period, all the time. Just, yeah. So these thralls are going to run. He rolled a four. Now, just want to point out that he's within six inches of a hero or 12 inches of a general, so he could spend a command point to turn that into a six, but you don't care about that right now. I don't think four is. And you did not give them the plus three. Ooh, this is moving train. Moving train again, eh? Just, just to get. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you might leave a little bit of a wall back. You have guys in the sky. I do. Turtle Man! Now, what does the turtle normally move? Moves 12 normally. I think so I lost 15 inches right now? 15. It's right there. I wonder if uh, okay. I will be running after this. I'm going to take a quick peek where he's going to land. Mm. So, fun fact if you move your maximum distance, you can't turn. Because it means your butt went further. Now, that's the base. Oh, I'm long. He's a little slower than the other one. But he can grab the objective. He certainly can. His, yours, sir. Good, sir. Uh, we're gonna send up the eels. Just a move, not a run. Not a run. They don't need to go that. I wanted him up front. What am I doing? You could have ran him. Yeah, I'm gonna move things. Well, it's not too late to throw the d6 and move him up that much further. Just throw it, man. <sighs> it's a six. There you go. I want to make sure he gets shot at. Right, because he'll be the closest, and he has Mystic Shield on. Hey, hey, hey. Don't fall. Just glue him to his base, man. Just glue him to his base. Uh, back these up a little bit, because you can move. Actually, we're going to be doing that. Some readjustments? Yep, just like that. You're thinking really hard. I am. I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lose. The Stormcast Eternals are so good. I know, I know. I want to stop Steve. <laughs> Oh. You can change well, that to I, a six for a command point. No, no, because they can't go any farther than this anyway. Because we did get the plus three inches of movement. Yeah, you're pretty fast. Yeah. I'm just trying to get you to waste your command points. I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> the soul crier is scryer. He's going to run. Yeah, he doesn't cry souls. He scries them. He could cry about them. Going to hide. Inside the building. No. She's going to run. My tide caster. Wanda Falls? No, this is a different conclave, so it can't be her. She's moving 10. So she got the plus 3? She got the plus 3. Does she fly? No. Oh, uh, she should move first. Three. There. Oh, this has moved everything. She's going to be uh, not quite that far. There we go. Finally, Volturno's here. He flies. He is zippy fast. Zippy fast. I'll come over here. I'm gonna step back a second. In the hero phase, you're supposed to roll to see if I take some mortal wounds. Any unit within three inches takes them on a four plus. On a six, it's D3. Start with them. That's one. Other liberators? No. And then my light assistant? No. And I will wound 
this guy on the end. And just one thing to shoot, my aspect of the seat is going to fire some, you know, watery blasts over at the Liberators with the crossbows. The Adjudicators. Adjudicators. <laughs> We're going to back up one second. One thing that we forgot to de declare, some of the scenery. They have a lot of updated scenery rules in General's Handbook 2018, and I like the Citadel Wood one, so we're using it for all the trees. Basically, you can't see more than an inch through the trees unless your target or yourself has the fly special rule. So I don't mind pulling this out right now because it doesn't stop you from shooting, but I do want to use that. So they count as obstacles, and you can't see more than an inch through them. So it is, and it's measured from the closest points of the models, not from whatever point you want. And obstacles, in case you don't know what those are, it's a, just a new general rule where if you have your entire unit within one inch of one side of the obstacle and you're being shot at from the other side of the obstacle, you gain cover. D3 shots. Uh, hitting on a three. Nice. You don't get to reroll anything because of your thingy? No, I failed to do the ritual. Oh, right. That was really impressive, Steve. Eh, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to do this turn. No, so your that... charge phase, he ran, so he can't charge. That's my turn. But you did get a point. I did get one. One point for Steve! Beginning of the hero phase, I gain a command point. So I'm up to three. You're down to one because you used your command ability. I am going to use the Lord Celestine's plus one to hit command ability. So he now has an aura of units within, I think it's seven inches. I will double check that. Get plus one to their hit rolls. It's nine. It's nine. nine inches? Okay. No, it's 11. 11 inches. It's nine. No, 13. It's nine. Stop counteracting me. 15, Steve. Now it's 15. Want to make it higher? It's two. <laughs> two. All right. <laughs> It is actually nine. <laughs> Not in range for the Lord Relictor to zap you with lightning. But I will try to heal my units on a three plus. Sigmar will hear me. Thank you, Sigmar. And he heals a wound. And he also knows blessed weapons. I'm just going to roll it before I decide if I'm gonna, who I'm going to put it on because I failed as four plus. Then I don't have to think about it. But it would have let any hits, shooting or close combat on sixes, generate more hits. This Lord Celestin, actually I'm going to run the Liberators first because he's going to be able to get to the objective no problem. So they are going to run six. Yeah, I'm not burning a command point yet. They move five. Oh, sorry. They move five plus a two. I'm thinking of all my other paladins they move four. So seven inches. So go up. I wanted him to go as much further than that to protect him because I know that he can send guys over and I want to make sure that I don't leave guys alone. I'll run him too. He moves ten plus two. Well, we're consistent. I'm going to move up just within three inches of this objective right here. So it is mine! Mine objective! Let's run these liberators. Well, that's more respectable. Three instead of a two. Marching up the field, going to get some guys that are smelling like fish. Liberators here are just going to move five. No! What? Stop protecting the bow guys. Yeah, protect the bow guys. Who are in cover, and if they get, oh, actually it doesn't stack the cover, just so you know. Let's do this, Steve! Flap, 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 blah! I know they're not scary, but the things that they're about to call down from the heavens above are very scary. But I don't know, every game that I've played in Age of Sigmar, I've always regretted being too impetuous. So they should leave rooms to be three inches away from me. Yeah, that's, all the other squads are going to go there and there. Because oh, okay. they have to be, the squad has to be with, within six inches, not wholly within. Think you're gonna fit? The storm clouds gather. The smell of ozone is in the air. And with a strike of lightning, blah, 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 the retributors and the protectors come in. I just don't finish. <laughs> and with huge strikes of lightning, protectors and retributors. I've measured everything. They're more than three inches away. They're within six inches what are you of the. Doing? What? We come in peace. Oh, you're just fish people coming in peace, eh? Well, within the world, <laughs> our souls. Well, I see. You you're like hiding you bags. Remember, you remember any of that? You're holding bags of souls. You're like, oh. No, <laughs> friends. <laughs> so this is probably the worst thing I'm doing in this battle report, or, or the, the best, best thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Every time I'm impetuous, it always bites me in the butt. But maybe not this time. I have never moved this much in one turn in the AOS game ever. I went way too far forward. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Lord Salson's like, hey, wait for me. He's gonna run. I roll four. 
That should be enough. I need to get him nice and close to give his uh, nine inch buff of plus one a hit. My Lord Celestent will move up as far as he can right here. Whoop, get out of the way, stupid wings. Good enough. Uh, Lord Relictor will run to an inch. I, yeah, he's just, he's there to heal all the damage that's about to happen. These Judicators will move up. Just, uh, they won't be able to shoot much, but better position than before. The Knight Heralder, in the hero phase, I forgot that he can choose a unit and they can run and charge or retreat and charge, but I didn't really need that, so no harm, no foul. He's gonna run. Three up and five forward. Oh. Casually. Judicators. Come on, stay on this rickety wood that's obviously rotted out a long time ago and now is probably wet from all of the stupid magic sea stuff. Shooting phase is really easy for me to decide what to do because I must fire at the nearest unit because he's deepkin, not because of second edition. I want to point that out. Second edition, the only real change to shooting was that if you fired a hero who has a unit, a, a friendly unit within three inches of him that has at least three models, it's minus one to hit. And if you're within three inches of an enemy, you can only fire at them. But the deep can have a rule that I can only fire at your nearest guy. So the Judicators with their bows are going to fire at your turtle. S start with my special Skybolt bow, hits on a two, and that one does d6 hits, so five. Nice. The other ones hit on threes, so we got two more. The threes to wound. Oh, nice. Um, all with a minus one to your rend. And I would have got to reroll ones for that too, because I have two units within eight inches. What's your save? Uh, three up to four up. But you have Mystic Shield on. Oh, taking two wounds. Three. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Three wounds. Th Judicators with their crossbows are going to fire at the eels. The nearest guy, thankfully, is over here so I can see him. Start the Thunderbolt crossbow on the, the leader. And basically his, I pick an enemy within 18 inches, which I'll just pick them as well. And if I roll equal to or less than the number of models in the unit, then they do D3 mortal wounds. Now there's six models in your unit, so it auto hits them. So D3 mortal wounds. One. How many wounds do they have each? Four. Jeez. And the two others that can fire are hitting on threes. Um, why do I think I get to reroll ones? I do not. I'm waiting on fours rerolling ones if I had two other units within eight inches. Let me check. They are thunder charge as the unit liberators and the other adjudicators within eight inches. So just still one wound. Uh, so I'm have a three up save. Because you're in cover. Yeah. So you're fine. So you took the one mortal wound. Yes. Booyah. I'm gonna throw my trident and all my javelins at your turtle. Start the trident. He gets an extra shot, so he's hitting on threes. Nice. And then he's, oh, I wish I got that spell off. But threes to wound. And no rerolling ones there or anything. So that's one wound at minus one rend. Two damage though. Nice, Ooh. two damage. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Uh, no rerolls there. And you saved it. That was no rend, one damage. And that brings him down to 11 of his 16 wounds. That's right? a big deal. That's a pretty good shooting phase. I'm not done yet, though. I'm not going to trumpet anything, because the uh, only things that are in range are things that I'm surrounding. I'm just out of range of that building. That would have been awesome, just doing all those mortal wounds. I'm going to hurl hammers from my cloak. It's not a shooting attack, so I can do it even though I ran. D6 of them, five of them. They do mortal wounds on a four plus. We're gonna focus on the turtle. Turtle. How close to, the, to this does he have to be to get a six plus ignoring wounds? Not that close. Not that close, that's <laughs> yeah. being much closer. Yeah, more closer. Four plus mortal wounds. Oh, just one. One, two. That is my shooting phase, Steve. Not bad, hurt the turtle pretty bad. The, the eels are fine. Yep. But the turtle, I just did like 10 wounds, oh, or he's down to 10 oh, wounds. Yes. So now it's time to charge. Yes. Let's start with the protectors. If I roll double one, they fail. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah! I like 10 inches. So let's, um, I don't know. These guys aren't big fans of these guys, but these guys are really good against monsters on a six to wound, which right now they're getting plus one to their wounds. So on a five to wound, they do D6 damage, which is pretty nice. But I, my brain right now has to process a whole lot of what other stuff I should do. What's given this one wound? The War Scroll Battalion. Gives them plus one to wound. It, when the turn that they come in, oh, within six insane. inches. Yeah. Let's reposition in a bit. There's a lot of thinking involved in where you move your guys for combat, because you don't just get to fight with all your chargers first, like in 40k. Otherwise, this would be a lot easier. And so I'm going to keep them more than three inches away from these guys. Still going to engage your general, though, just because I kind of have to to get in there. The Retributors, they are heavy hitters. They are gonna charge seven inches, which is plenty. 
These guys are going to have to engage your eels. Ah, oh, your stupid tail! Well, that's about seven inches right there. Well, that's a little less than seven inches. I wanted to get as close as I can. Oh, well. Tip your nose up. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, just let me go right under your anus. <laughs> <laughs> How wonderful. Thank you, Steve. I guess I asked for it, didn't I? <laughs> May I please go under your anus, good sir? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, allow me to lift my tail. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna roll a charge just for the prosecutors because they can go 3d6 inches and I just want to see where it would get me. Okay, it's 11 inches. I am gonna use that because I've got liberators right behind that I wouldn't mind making a charge in there as well. So I'm gonna flap, flap, flappity guys these over to the eels. Somehow their wings don't get in my way. Let's do the liberators that are behind them next. I probably need like an eight inch charge. Okay, thanks Terrain for giving me nine. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely, definitely in. So three of them will be in and the other two will just kind of hang back like here and here. Just to try to cut off any lines that you might try to slip through. It's a hard choice between the protectors and the retributors. I think the protectors could one shot your turtle. But the Retributors are in more trouble because they've got the Eels on the one side um, and the Turtle on the other side and your General. So if I do the Retributors first, I might be able to hurt your Turtle so badly that it can't really do much. Maybe. I know there's guys on top that probably don't care how many wounds you take. So I'm going to start the Retributors. These three will go into your Turtle and the other two will go into your Eels. Oh, this is making me nervous. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I'm wanting to switch to my Protectors because I know that Turtle's good and I'd really like to kill it. But no, I'm committed. So I've got three retributors, including the prime. The prime is against the turtle. Did I do that right? Yeah, uh, looks like he is. Good. So then I get an extra attack. They're getting plus one to their hit rolls because of my Lord Celestin's uh, command ability. And they're getting plus one to their wound rolls thanks to the War Scroll Battalion. And so we're hitting on twos, but their special we just do mortal wounds to you thing activates on a five. Okay, six mortal wounds. Down to four. And the ones that just hit and didn't do the six mortal wounds, they normally wound on a three, so now they're wounding on two. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, it's still six mortal wounds. I'm pretty low, probably yeah. to his at least second worst. Second worst, I believe. Yeah, he's, he's down to four wounds. And then the two into your eels. Also hitting on twos. Oh, we didn't activate any mortal wounds. And you don't care about my rend. I don't know if I have any of these guys anyways. No, no. Yeah, they're minus one rend normally. Two's to wound. So we got four wounds. You get a three up save. You don't get affected by my rend. Oh, they're two damage apiece too. So you just shuck, you just shrug that off. Like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. What are you going to do, Steve? I think the turtle's going to go because he's going to die anyway. He's What's he want to attack, though? Protectors. The ones that are going to attack him next? Yeah, actually... Oh, why are you letting him die? It's just that too, right? Um, no, no, we're going to let him attack. He's still pretty okay. So everything in the protectors. The jaws will be hitting all fours now. Rerolling ones because the king is nearby. Ooh. And swooning on twos. And, and this is minus two. And how much damage? Six. Ah, six up save. Six up save. Unless I want to use my once per game ability to, or my triumph to reroll saves. Nope. Oh, so close. D6 damage. They're three wounds apiece. Oh! Oh, that's so close. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's oh. You've done two wounds so That's far. Died interference. Yeah, that was like Ocean's Eleven, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> it was really, it was way too slow. It was like, so my heart not handle that well. All right, the scything fins are hitting on threes, rerolling ones, and wounding on threes. Now their damage has been lowered. Yes, and two. rerolling ones for the Futan. And any rent? Uh, yes, minus one. So five up. Made one, and how much damage do they two do now? Damage. So they used to do three, now they did two. So I've taken four wounds in total from that. Twin prong spear, threes, free rolling ones, he's the Killian. Okay, because not the mount. No. Still missed anyways. And? And finally, the razor shell harpoons, threes, and these are threes to wound. Any rent? No rent. Four up. Dang. One more damage. So that's five damage in total. So you killed one and wounded one down to one. I'm tempted to kill the star soul mace, but let's kill one of those, and then I'll wound this guy down to one. I'm actually gonna do my Liberators next. I know you still, is he really good in close combat? Yes. No, well then you're making me rethink. And he's also super defensive. 
He's super defensive. He'll have two up save. And can I rend it? Yeah. Okay. Only two up save. Two up save? How do you get a two up save, man? Three up base. Okay, you got cover. cover. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, so yeah, I'll do the protectors then. And I hate to say everything under the turtle because he's got four wounds left. Pull him down. But I kind of need to. Because the Star Soul Mace alone does D3 mortal wounds. So we're guaranteed to only have to get through three wounds with the rest of the guys. Let's just do it, though. Got to take the turtle down. I think. Yeah. I do. Star Soul Mace just does a straight up D3 mortal wounds. Well, that's two of the four wounds that he has left. This part should be overkill. In which case, it'll make me regret even fighting with the Retributors first. <laughs> um, but I just got to do it. Two's to hit. Because I get a plus one. Because of the plus one from their War Scroll Battalion, which means that their normal ability of six plus activates on a five plus, which is d6 damage against a monster. Oh, it's going to be overkill. So those are all wounds. So these are. Those are the d6 damage apiece. Uh, four of save. So he's dead. Yeah. It yeah. was such a waste. He gets Mystic Shield, but oh well. I should have done them first, because that would have killed him right out. That was a mistake on my part. I was worried about you retributing the retributors. And yeah. they would have just one shot him. I, I honestly, I've, I haven't played with them in a long time. And so after, as soon as I looked at their stats and saw they had three attacks each, I'm like, oh, I should have done them first. They would have murdered him. And then the retributors could have all piled in and dealt mortal wounds like crazy to everywhere else. Who's I'm next? Stay right there with my uh, king, Volturnos. He's going to activate next, and he's going to swing everything into the retributors. Are they scarier to you? They are scarier. <laughs> Let's start off with his, his sword. It's five attacks, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of the because he's a Killian. Right. Rerolling Killians with an eighteen of him. Now this attack here is now minus six because I rolled a six to hit. Okay. Minus six saves. It's minus six. So this is wounding on threes. Naturally. Uh, of course. <laughs> and threes. And these are what rend. Minus one. And what damage? D three. Oh, five up saves. Nice. Of course. So D three damage. I have one guy that's only one wound left, and you kill him and hurt another. So I'm going to just keep the Star Soul Mace alive. Oh, this is hard now, because if I kill the guy in the middle, then I'll have to kill another. If you kill the guy in the middle, but you can't kill the guy in the middle yet. But you might, get a, you might go next. This is a hard choice, because he's my prime, and that's my Star Soul Mace. But you don't want to put the wounds on the guy in the middle, because now at the end of the turn, if you have any units not right. in coherency, you've got to kill, unit, or kill models until they're in coherency. So it's a bad idea to start kill, taking from the middle. So I should have stuck the Star Soul Mace in the middle. Huh? Want, want me to finish my tax on the inside? Oh yeah, you're not done. I thought you were still going. Or you thought you were done. Or you were done! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we're good. Sorry, all that, all that thinking of me, you might just kill another guy. The Fang Jaw and Talons from a mount is threes and threes. This is a one rend. Five up. What damage? One damage. Okay, so I have one guy down to one wound now. And then his Lashing Tail is threes and threes. Rend? No rend. Four up. No, oh, so two kills a guy. These are two. These are two of these. Oh, oh, so that kills two guys. Why are you thinking over here? Over here. Oh, you're attacking the retributors. Yeah. Well, then I will put that guy back. <laughs> who was down a wound? So you just did. He's down to, down to five, huh? Yeah, he was down to six. Uh, so you did one wound, and then another two wounds, and another four wounds. So that's seven wounds. So you just killed two guys. Okay, that's now that's over here. It's a little easier, I think. One. Not him, I'm assuming. He's the prime, yeah. yeah. And two. And then one more damage on the next guy. Yeah, I'm regretting the order in which I did things. I'm really regretting. Well, I'll do the prosecutors next. They're going to pile in and attack your eels, and the, my guys will do nothing. You I watch this. Two and three, so. Yeah. The prime does extra damage. i got to roll them separately. Four plus to hit. Um, he is within nine inches, so it's actually three plus to hit. Four is to wound. No. And they don't get the plus one to wound in this turn. It's only the guys that teleported in. And we need fours. One wound. No rend. You get a three up save. See if you can do that, Steve. Booyah. They're gonna go. This guy's gonna move on the same guy. Move over. And here. Just pack him on in. And I think we're gonna start measuring. And you're in. So where are you gonna focus your attacks? Actually, what, what, looks like a one guy over here has to focus on the or two so guys. Every well, I have uh, good range on yields. Everything that can go on them will be going yes. on the, the retributors. Yes, definitely. And everything that has to go on the other guys will have to the other guys. That's it. 
So there's different reaches for each of the weapons. So we're going to start with all the ones that can reach the prosecutors. I mean, the ones that can't reach the retributors is actually what we're looking at. So two hell sabers into the uh, pr no prosecutors. Uh, prosecutors on threes, rerolling ones because Volturnos is around. Nice. And just threes. Threes to wound. Sorry, the camera glitched, and so we didn't get to see the roll, but he got two oh. wounds. Any rend? No rend. No, no rend on any of the attacks. So we're looking at a four up, we're rolling ones. Oh. One damage. Yeah, that kills one. Two fang maws on the same unit. They'll be hitting on threes and three. Everything's threes and threes, these guys. And rend? Uh, no rend. Saved. And then one lashing tail has to go on them. It is D3 attacks. Ooh. And it's threes and threes. But this is a mouth attack, so we roll once. Oh, nope, no rend. Any rend? No. Okay, okay. so that's two damage. Three. These guys are two wounds apiece, so one dies. That won't kill the prime. So into the retributor now, we're going with Hell Sabers. Threes, re rolling ones, and threes. No re These are not mounts, so, so no. Because no mounts re roll ones to wound, and everybody else re rolls ones to hit. Yes. But not the mounts don't re roll ones to hit. Correct. And everybody else doesn't re roll ones to wound. Right. And there's rend on this one? There is. No, no, there's no rent in any of these attacks. Four up. One damage. One damage so far. And then we're going to go into the maws. These are threes to hit. Reroll because of Volturnos. So the maws are not the mounts? The maws are the mounts as well. The, the, the mounts have the maw and the tail. But you have rerolled one to hit. Yeah, well, they're Achillean, so I reroll all the hit for Achillean. And then because oh, because I just said in the last clip that year, oh, okay, mounts so don't to... reroll ones to hit. No, 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 okay. So, so everybody rerolls ones to hit? Achillean, which is my eels and Volturnos now, rerolls ones to hit. Why close to Volturnos? And now the mounts, so the eels themselves and his little thing, reroll ones to wound because of my enclave. Right, okay. So now you're wounding on threes, rerolling ones. And rend? No. Four up. Oh, D3? That's D3 wounds, so it's one. Oh, four wounds so far. And finally, the Lashing Tails, D3 attacks each. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On threes. Nice. And threes, we're rolling ones because they're oh, 10. And no rend. I don't think it matters. Only one, one more. more. One more. Yeah, I knew I made a mistake. These guys had all swung their eels. No, you got my turtle, that's not a mistake. Yeah, but I could have killed the turtle just with the protectors. Oh, okay. So, yeah, possibly. Yeah. My liberators can be chosen to attack. They're not within three inches of an enemy, but they charged. I am not going to. Like, I do choose them, and I just won't pile in. And that is the end of the combat phase, which brings us to a, a, and a bit of a battle shock for me. Not for you, though. Right? Yeah. No I'm, battle shock I'm for good. you, because I just killed your turtle. Yeah. Prosecutors, they have a bravery of six. Oh, hold on. You might be a lower bravery. What, do you give me minus braveries? I do, but I don't know if I have anything in effect right now. So you don't have anything that's minus. So let's start with my prosecutors. Their bravery six, they lost one guy, so if they lose, if I roll a six, they'll lose one more. Oh! Of course. <laughs> oh. Well, not the prime. And my retributors have lost four. Their bravery seven, so on a four plus, I would lose him. I don't want to lose him. He's kind of tying you up right now, even if he's not going to do much more damage. Although he could do a lot more damage. Uh, I am going to, I'm within 12 inches of my general, so I am going to spend a command point, bringing me down to one, to automatically, to do Inspiring Presence. So in the battle shock phase, I can use Inspiring Presence, 12 inches of general is 6 inches of a hero, and they automatically pass their battle shock. These guys lost one, but their bravery seven, so they will not run. And that is all of my casualties. So, was it worth it? Killed your turtle. Killed the turtle. How many points is your turtle? Three, a lot. Yeah, but so are it's retributors and protectors. <laughs> so I don't know if that was worth it. I think I made a mistake in not doing the protectors first. But um, you know what? It feels worth it anyways, because I got to go in there and beat up your turtle. Yeah. So, so I missed that guy already. You missed him already? Yeah. yeah. So you're you're sad that you lost your turtle, but do you, do you think, though, that you came out on top with the casualties here and the position? I think... Oh. It depends. I'm okay with the trade right now, I guess. It could have been worse. But uh, the turtle wasn't going to be covered next turn, so I really want to go now, but I would want to go second turn. So, you know what? Whatever. Third I do have one objective. Yep. So now the score is one to one. And it's only turn one. We've already had a bit of a bloodbath. We're already almost an hour into this battle report. Are we really? Yeah. It's, on turn one? It's been pretty intense. It's been pretty intense. So I have a funny feeling this is going to be like a turn two or turn three battle report, because really, in the end, how much is going to be alive after all of this, right? Yeah, we'll see. But let's find out. Let's roll first to see who gets to choose who goes first. 
Now with the new rules, if we roll a tie, the person who went first in the last battle round gets to choose. So in other words, ties go to you. I win ties this time. Yes. He Okay. Yeah. That was I win. A coup. I win. <laughs> what do we do with that, Steve? Well, that's it was like, still rolling when you hit it. That's how I, that's I'm going um. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. No, it's fine. You know what? No, re-roll. No, no, no. No, re-roll, no, Steve. Be, no, absolutely not. No, I'm not taking your pity re-roll, man. No, it's not pity. I'm not pity because, because it was a two, man. but it was kind of still sliding, <laughs> so it was still a live die, and you knocked it over. Please, you better you better win this roll. I'm gonna roll roll again. Four, six. Okay, good. Okay. Pity re <laughs> it's not really though, because wasn't it? That was a pity. Your comment below. That was a pity reroll, everybody. I just wouldn't want to be torn apart in the comments for really <laughs> counting your <laughs> die hitting by. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna go first. Oh, fine, you cheater. <laughs> I go back up to two command points in my hero phase. You just gain one, even though I have two War Scroll Battalions. That only helps at the beginning. So scores one, one, top of turn two. I've got to use his command ability, plus one to hit. Now you can only use it because he's the general. Now I, I should point out that he has Staunch Defender as his command trait too, which is a bubble of so many inches, which I'll have to remember and look up, that if I don't charge, then I get to reroll failed saves. So this turn... What? My Retributor, that's, that's his command trait. I... no. No way, no. A bubble around him just reroll failed saves? Mm hmm. You just second guess yourself. I'm not. No way. I just don't no know. Way. I don't know how the big. Not fine. I gotta look up how big not the bubble fine, is. Not fine, Matthew. Not fine. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's not reroll all saves. It's get plus one to their saving throw. Okay, that's a, that's a lot different. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty good, too. I don't know. You could have been covered for like three of your rolls. It doesn't stack with cover. Oh, well, I didn't know that. This is so it's plus one save. You're right, I got it wrong. It's only six inches, so it's really... Well, but it's not wholly within six inches. Like a lot of the new things in second edition are now wholly within 12, wholly within six. Yeah, that's true. So you can still chain it back to them. For now. We're going to try to heal my um, protectors. Protectors need protecting. Three plus. Negative. Nope. Bye. Wait a second, this is Lord Relic Saris from the campaign. No wonder he's failing all his prayer rolls. Saurus, thrice ignored, is what we make, make, nicknamed him in the campaign. Mm. <laughs> My Night Herald is going to go... Da, 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 <clears throat> and choose him to be able to run and charge. Ouch. And then we're going to go to the moving phase. He's going to run <clears throat> two inches, and he's going to come out. He's going to hop through the window and get right up here, getting ready to trumpet through the town. My Liberators are going to start coming this way. Like so. Just... Just like that. I'm gonna run my Lord Celestant. Five, okay, I'll take that, 10 inches. That'll get him up to here. And the objective is mine! And get him three inches away from those guys. Gonna run these Liberators. Six. So they're gonna run over here. Let's run these Liberators that are so far away and so totally useful. Eight inches. So we're just going to kind of I don't know how to predict where you can possibly plop your guys. <laughs> and then he'll just stay right there. Charge him, face their wrath. Not really, but yeah. Lord Relictor's just gonna come up to here. These Judicators are just gonna form up in front of this dilapidated building with their crossbows. Shooting! Dur, 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 dur. Chooses this piece of terrain. Everybody within D6 inches takes D3 mortal wounds. I'd love to roll a one, because then it'll just be your three units and not my really important units. Yeah, four, okay. Well, that's gonna be a dead retard protector, because these guys are both taking D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortal wounds, D3 mortal wounds, and data. Your thralls, two of them die. No. No? Oh, they're, with, they're close to the boat. Ship. Ship? They're both close to the ship. Just want to. Uh, Two of them die. I just want to point out that he's a Actually, ship. Actually, I'm gonna take these two. Your leader takes two mortal wounds. Your other thralls 
take two mortal wounds, and your eels take three mortal wounds. I killed an eel! You said something else? Well, I missed something. Two, two, and three. Oh, I think he might. And my protectors! Oh, just one. Okay, good. I knew it was going to kill one. But, you know. And my retributor! Come on, don't roll three! Just two! This still sucks. Judicators are going to fire. Now, three of them cannot see the eels, and so the closest visible will be your king. And the other two can see the eels, and they're technically the closest visible unit to my judicators. Right? Or is it, is it model by model? Or is it my you unit? You pick your weapon, so you pick your weapon. Um, so I can, I can, unit closest visible unit. so I can, I can split my unit then. It makes sense to me that you, is what the model can see. Right. Yeah. Yes, but it's based on how close the unit is, not how close the nearest visible model from the unit is. As long as I can see one of the models from the unit, then we look at how close yes. the unit is. So yeah, so what I said. So three of them into your king, and the other two into your eels, because that's what they have to fire. Do the prime first into your king, hitting on a two, and he does d6 hits. One! And the other two hit on threes. We got three hits in total, wounding on something, threes. That's two wounds minus one rend. Uh, four up. Hmm. hmm. You get three roll ones? No. Don't you have cover or something? No, it was last turn. No. Oh! Hidden you. characters. They trump at me. They what? Trumpet. Hidden characters inside this. Oh, there's he's, guys he's, inside he's, of there that get so trumpeted. My Tidecaster. <laughs> I didn't even think about them. That makes it even better. D3 on the Tidecaster. Two. And so Two on each. Nice. That's a lot of extra wounds. And then the two into your eels. Hitting on threes. Yep, we're good. Right. Unless you're chaos. You're not chaos secretly, not, are you? Not, not you're not secretly not secretly chaos. Not secretly chaos. <laughs> all the crossbows into your secretly not chaos eels. And yeah, I'm just gonna and I'll even put the actually no, okay, because if I target him I gotta roll a one to hit him. I target them, I've gotta roll five or less to hit them. Start with the awesome crossbow. Need a five or less, and naturally I roll a six! And the other crossbows, I need more dice than this. Threes to hit. Uh, okay. Four is to wound. Four wounds. Four up save now, you don't have cover. Oh, two wounds, all right. I'm gonna throw some hammers from my magic cloak as I twirl around like a dancer. Can you? Yeah, because it's not a shooting attack. Oh. Just in the shooting phase. I know, it's one of I those. Guess again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Actually, what they should do is it should be 2d6 when he runs, because then he can twirl faster. No, he'd lose. No, he twirls faster, he'd Steve! Running, he'd, he'd only fire behind him. No, they twirl faster. My bad. Well, I've, I've, what was I have two daughters in dance. Well, camera, you twirl faster. You camera, you if you run, camera, you show me the camera. You twirl faster. If I twirl, twirl faster when I run, the hallway. If I twirl faster, I do two d six instead of d six. Yes, I, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Let's get some people. So this is without running. Okay. No, I don't feel like you gave it enough. I, I really don't feel like you gave it enough. All right, give me some run. No. You didn't even twirl. You didn't even twirl. Okay, I'm gonna get D6. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you were right again. Three. All on to oh, the no. king! Because it's not a shooting attack, so I can oh. target whatever the crap I want. Ha! Oh, just one. Is he going on him? Well, still. It's down oh, to two he's wounds. Gonna die. I hope so. And then the protector, the prosecutor has to attack the eels because he's within three inches of them. And I whippity my trident at you, get an extra attack because I am the prime. One hits, and it wounds on a three. And it's minus one rend, which you ignore. Four, Four up, otherwise it's two damage. Two damage! Kills one. Yield died. It's all my shooting. Let's do the charge phase. Liberators first. Nice and high, please. Yeah, six is okay. Uh, gonna come up here. The next one's gonna follow as far as we can. I'm gonna leave some space for my Celestant, Lord Celestant. Who will now try to charge? He gets it. I'm going to stay within three inches of the objective, because if I leave it, I lose it. And just a reminder for anybody who's posting comments right now that he ran so he can't charge, I did put the Trumpeter's ability on him, which allows him to run and charge. Let me just roll a charge for Lord Relictor. Nope, he can't, so I don't have to think about it. I'm going to go first with my protectors. So they are going to pile in, and they are going to clobber. I'm going to start the Star Soul Mace, because it just does straight up D3 mortal wounds. Star Soul Mace! <laughs> One mortal wound! Ah, I didn't want <laughs> he still has a wound left. You gotta roll dice. Oh, I do. So seven attacks from the rest of them. Hitting on twos because of the plus one from uh, oh. Celestin. 
Oh, that didn't help much. At least you're not wounding on. <laughs> Only wounding on threes now. And the sixes don't do anything extra to because you're not a monster. Well, I'm, you don't have the monster I'm, I'm keyword. Kind of a monster. But... Uh oh! Only oh, two! Okay. okay, I might survive. I might survive. Four up! Ah, yes! <laughs> My oh. automatic D3 mortal wounds should have done it, but it didn't! Hard choice. I have to go with the eels. Yeah, eels or thralls? Thralls are gonna get munched if they don't go first. But then I got with one retributor, three attacks, plus one to hit. He needs a single five plus to finish off your. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do the eels. We're gonna bring him in. Try to kill that retributor. Actually, we're gonna. Let's see how Use, use your go. butts to stay in coherency better. I wanna get. As many as you can there. And then the one into the. Like prosecutor. How are you going to allocate your attacks? So all the one-inch attacks from this smaller going here, everything else going there. You really want no, to? There's only one wound left, man. He does have a plus. He does have a plus one to his save. Oh no, I'm not within six inches of my lord's self. Okay, so this model is fully getting over here. You have two wounds. Yeah. And those three into him. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, these three into him. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just do it, man. You know what? No, you're no, thinking too I, hard. No, I, I am. Hold on, I'm adding in. The tail from this model onto him. Just because you think you're gonna overkill the retributor? I do. Okay. So this model over here, this guy's tail over there, everybody else the retributor. So this is the Hellblades. Into the retributor? Into the retributor. Hitting on. Threes, rerolling ones, because uh, Volturnal's still alive. Yeah, and for a I'm moment. Working on threes. Yeah, and these are all. Wait, you get to him? No. You're patting me, man. Don't do that. <laughs> oh. Well, for now, I still have more turns in the game, right? Oh. It's like turn two. Is there a rend on this? No, no rend on any stuff. Four up! Oh, he died big time. All right, derp -derp. Can you kill the prosecutor now that you overkilled the retributor? Yeah, I got this. So the prosecutor, this is the Hellblade. Three rerolling ones. Jeez. And threes. No one rend. One. Four up. Rerolling ones. So one wound. One wound. He's got one wound left. All right. Uh, the maw is three. And three. Aw. You're not gonna kill him? And then two tails. Right, DD three attacks each, so I got five attacks. On threes, re-rolling ones. And of course threes. Re-rolling re ones, because of Putin. Four up. I'm alive! <laughs> I need it, I need it. It's okay, we'll be okay. Yeah, because you only get to run and charge, not retreat and charge. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Lord Celestin will do the uh, honors of execution. He charged, so he gets an extra attack with each of his weapons. So he's got five attacks with his Sigmarite Arun Blade, and he uses command ability. And it just says, yeah, this model and friendly Stormcast currently even specifies. Get plus ones, he's hit on twos. Look at that, no ones. We on threes, minus one rend. What's your uh, save? Five up, who's a six up? Six up. And then ignore it on sixes. Fooey, you got two of them. Cool. Ooh, only killing two. I still have my little blade, my Warhammer, sorry. So threes because of the plus one, and threes. So one wound, no rend. Five up. Oh, he only killed two. That's sad. Uh, we're gonna have to go after him. Yeah. I forget if I have two inch reach or not. Okay, so only one inch reach. There. He's gonna go all the way here. Get, get in there. Wait, wait, maybe he won't. Get in there. You can get a couple guys on him. It's a stupid banner. Does that count? Just get two guys on him. I can get three, I think. No, you can't. Yeah, watch. Oh, wait. What's the nearest model to him? That guy. Aren't they both? Look at it. Here, okay, you're, you're right. You're right, fine. Get him in. So three guys get on him, and then the rest will be on the liberators. And he, I guess, will come around this way. This way. This way. Guess the Lord Celestin? So this, yeah, Lord Celestin, we're hitting on threes, but because we're on uh, Flood Tide, we every roll ones to hit. Oh, you're gonna kill him because you do two damage because he has at least four wounds. And threes, no rerolls here. So we got four. I get to fill three. Oh, you might be okay. You're gonna be okay. This minus one rend though. Yeah. Four up. What, Matthew? What? I'm back in. <laughs> I'm back in. <laughs> you thought you were dead. I thought it was out. You thought you were I'm out. Positive, I was out. No, you're not. No, but that can't kill him. <laughs> Yeah, he was lackluster, so I immediately can choose a new general, and I also won't get this frickin' objective, because oh. I left it. Oh wait, no, I still control it. I didn't end a move more than three inches away from it, and I think when he dies, I lose it. Oh, okay. Yeah, him dying definitely loses the objective, which seemed obvious, but we had to look it up anyways. And then into the... Pro Liberators. Liberators. Threes. We're rolling ones. Because of Futon. No, these are only one damage each. Against you, yeah. 
and threes. So minus one rent, yep. so five up save. Are you rolling one, so that kills one liberator. Damn. Oh, that hurt! It hurt me! It hurt me, Steve! I hurt you. Yeah, so I'll have these guys go next because there's nobody else that you can go with. Let's see if I can get some retribution with my liberators. I lose my plus one! So we're just hitting on fours. Oh wait, threes. It's threes and fours. Or fours and threes. You know, at this point it doesn't matter because I don't get the plus one. So fours. Yeah, fours. Yeah, because they, they are harder they, to hit yeah. with. Right, but they wound better. But they wound better, so they wound it on threes. And so it's three wounds, no rend, so you get a five up and then a six up, ignoring. Okay, good at least. You jerk. Wow! Thralls are overpowered, man! Uh, you I don't care about your turtle. <laughs> Just bring <laughs> thralls and you'll win every game. I don't know. Me prosecutor, he's gonna go like this. Hey guys. Hello, friend. Hey, how's it? I'm not your friend, pal. Buddy. One attack with said trident, fours to hit. That's a hit. Uh, that doesn't wound. Well, no, you still have your king. I don't know yeah. why I was going with him next. All into your paladins. Yeah. Start off with his sword, hitting on three. And so all this whiffing of mine is going to really yeah. get you back in the game. So uh, I, whiffed, I whiffed a lot there. Not killing your king. This one's minus six. Oh, nice. What are you on threes? Okay, so that does how much damage? One. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, it's d3. So one. one. You're right. You were right. <laughs> Wounding. Threes. Rent? Uh, minus one. And I don't get my staunch defender because my Lord Salison is dead. Oh. Because these guys didn't charge. Five up. See, that would have been a save. So that's another three. So that's four damage. So I can just do this so far. Oh, this is all going pear shaped. Thing, jaws and talons on threes, re rolling ones. Huh. Okay. Can't kill and my one guy. Lashing tail. Threes, re rolling ones. Two hits. And threes. Rent? Um, minus something. So one. Gets three, was it just one damage? Yeah. Okay, he survives. Dang. We got battle shocks. Dang. Yeah, both of us do. I'm gonna spend one, because I'm losing... Oh wait, I put full leadership, I'm losing bravery seven? Uh... So you are gonna spend a point? I'm gonna spend a point, I'm gonna keep them in the game. Okay, oh, I'm supposed to nominate a new general. Oh yeah. Which sucks, because I could've put staunch defender on him and had the plus ones to all my... Because I can automatically generate a trait. <sighs> well, we can check the clips. It's okay, I made one of my saves for him, but so he would have one more wound. I think that's the only thing that's different. Because as yeah. soon as your general dies, you can nominate a new one. Really and as soon as, and if you look in any of the battle tomes and under command traits, it says if you ever nominate a new general, you immediately generate a trait for him. And so I can just keep bouncing that staunch defender around the, the table. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna nominate him as my new warlord and I'm gonna give him staunch defender. So the six inch. So I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it at this point. But it does matter right now if I decided to do Inspire in Presence because he'll have a 12 inch bubble instead of six. So are you spending the command point on them? Yeah. Okay, you did. All right, so let's do the Liberators. On a six, I lose one more. Nope. I'm going to roll and not use my command point. I don't know why. No, I'm using my command point. So my other command point's gone. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why? What am I saving it for? And Prosecutor is already down to one, so he's fine. Now, what about these thralls? You lost. A oh, I lost you lost two, two of them. Bravery, Are they bravery seven ten. right now? Ten. So six plus three plus one. He gives him plus three bravery? Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah, because he's There's clearly no not one. a monster. <laughs> I know. So that didn't go very well for me. I only yeah. get two points, bringing the score to three to one. But that's hardly going to matter. The extra two points would have been nice, but just not losing my Lord Celestin also would have been nice because I would have, yeah, it just, I would have had the plus one of the attacks. I wouldn't have lost my Lord Celestin. <laughs> They, I didn't know what to do. They would have plus one. He would have had a plus one armor. I would have lost my Lord Celestin. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of uh, positives and negatives. Oh, but you scored two or four. Yeah, I did say that. Oh. Three to one. Pay attention. Uh, no. It's three to one for me. I'm winning. This, this is probably the last time that I'll be winning. <laughs> the rest of the game is probably downhill from here. But hey, I got to smash you in the face, kind of. The turtle died. The turtle died. I didn't have deep kin. Turn two. Roll for mortal wounds on a four plus, they take a mortal wound. On a six, they, they just D3. D3 mortal wounds. Just one, <laughs> and then on a four plus, the other Liberator squad. No. Nothing. So one takes a wound. So my tide caster is going to cast uh, Riptide over onto the Liberators over there. 
these ones? Yep. That gives them what? Minus one to minus hit? Minus one to hit, and then on my next hero phase, they take D3 mortal wounds. I'm looking for a seven. Ten. I'm not going to try to unbind it with my Lord Relictor. Right. <laughs> my idol on is going to put minus one to hit on them with Tide of Fear, meaning a six. Failed. I can reroll. Oh, actually, well, I'm going to reroll anyway. I can reroll a uh, spell once per game, uh, once per phase. Or you can heal. Or I can heal. I'm not damaged, so no problem. I'm not rerolling. Here we go. Uh, I don't care. Oh, I don't. Yeah, you can go. Now I'm going to do an Ashard ritual. I need an eight because I have the priest there as well. No. I don't know what this thing is you talk about. Well, I lot of aspect of the season attempts to heal Volturnos. Ah, what do you need? Get some wounds. I don't know if that's enough. I, that might be enough. That wasn't enough. So the question is... That's one for game, right? What, unbinding? Yeah. No, he just unbinds like a wizard. Oh, okay. So yeah. the question is, if that wasn't enough, I didn't have to roll that. Wow. Wow. So I don't think Look you it up, man. Um, Look it up. I'm, I'm trying. Look it up. Oh, you have too much pressure. Jeez. I mean, How hard is it? Can you just relax? It is a set. I got it. Okay, then I unbind it. Okay. I unbound it. You unbound. All right, so we're going to run. We're run the idol on. And we're going to spin a command point. Make Makes that six. <laughs> I spent a lot of time off camera finding a place right here for him to go. The problem is, there is a place for him to go. It's right here, but there's no way to actually get the model to stay there. So we're just going to plunk him down here, but he's going to count as being right here. That way he's more than three inches away from these models. And remember, this turn he can run and charge. No, 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 no. Is that a run? No, he was 14. Oh, jeez. Even at one wound? I guess, yeah, he doesn't scale down. So now you grab that objective with him instead. They are going to run. Five. Five. I don't know where to go now. You can go really far. Yep. Um, hmm. It's gonna find your nice sweet spot three inches away right there. I believe so. I believe yeah, you wanna go this way. There you go. Perfect. My soul crier is going to- Soul scryer. Scry he's cr he cries for souls. It's running? Yes, nine inches. You're getting away from that building that's been shaking all around you from the sound of the trumpet. Yeah, we don't like this spot. <laughs> oh, it's falling on my head. He's down to three wounds. And my tide caster's also going to run. Also inside the building. Hmm, I think we're And I don't have the hands for this, Matthew. <laughs> Sorry for putting terrain on the table, uh -huh. Steve. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. He can't shoot because he ran, so it just yeah. charges. Where do you want to start? Where are you starting? I'll start with the idle on. Okay, just roll it. We'll figure it out. Okay, 12. Oh, he's in. He's in. And he wanted all that just so he could target the Herald or the, yeah. So I'm going to the Knight Heralder. So we'll kind of put him like this and then we'll just put him up here. He's just going to look down and throw a sword at him. <laughs> then my thralls will charge. How far? Eight inches. Okay. Where are they going? Um, oh, they got a couple options. Yeah, we're going to get as many as we can. Going to go after those adjudicators. Them. They are in. Any other charges? I don't think I have any legal. Charges. Not well, not ones that you necessarily you're within twelve inches there, but oh no, there's you weren't no, trying to get them no into value there. Combat phase. You got a couple important decisions to make. Not really, but this is a bit of a threat. Obviously, the heralder with the big they're guy. Hitting on fives. They are hit on fives now, so they're not much of a threat. They're a bit of a threat. I think we're gonna hold off. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the eels. This one is gonna go all around. I'm gonna have to back in a little bit. Trying to make sure you can kill that retributor, right? Yes. And go on that way. This way. Every attack from my eels heal here that can reach the retributor will. Everything remaining will go after the prosecutor. And I can remember my staunch defender this time. Well, starting off with the lashing tails. So they're it's, D3 attacks yeah, so, each. So that's wow. four attacks. Hitting on. Threes. Wounding on. And yes. Threes. Friend? None. So three up save then. He's alive. Okay. One maw. Uh, three rolling ones because of the king. Who's still alive? How close does the king have to be? 18. Oh, all right, you're fine. Wait, did you roll that again? You did. You got a four, then you got a two. Okay. Was it That's two to wound? Three to wound. Oh. Hellblades? And finally the hellblade. Threes. Three. Oh, he's going to live. What's the rend? None. Three up. He's good. Attacks against the pr prosecutor who's outside of six inches, so no staunch defender for him. Hellblade. On threes, we're rolling ones. Threes. No bonuses here. And no rent? No rent. So four up, re-rolling ones. 
Oh, he died with the three. Huh, so my Retributor stayed alive. Wasn't expecting that. Let's do the Liberators who are a little nerfed against the Thralls. So nine attacks sitting on fives because of the curse that you put on me. So three hits, wounding on threes. One wound, no rend. So you get your five up save and a six up ignoring wounds. Ignore the wounds on a six. No, kill one. Oh, yeah, I got one. Oh. These uh, thralls will go. Oh, you're gonna do the thralls next. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Into the judicator. I'm gonna move around. So I'm gonna pick up this model and throw it where that model will be. It's not gonna affect the banner. Uh, we are hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because we're futan and it's ebb tide or flood tide. And threes to wound with a rend. There is a rend. Ouch! Five up save. So we killed one, two and a half of them. Two died, and the next one is hurted. Knight Heralder will attack your Eidolon. Can't possibly hurt him, or kill him, but might be able to hurt him. Threes to hit, and then fours to wound. Nothing. Well, can't even hurt him. We're gonna do the thralls next. Oh, uh, we're hitting on threes. Rerolling Re ones, because one. it's ebb tide. Hmm. <laughs> and threes. Okay. Five up save, re-rolling ones. They're not within range of staunch defender, are they? Oh, hold on, if I roll a four, I'll look it up. No, ah, right, I'm fine. Right, right, you're fine. Oh. And the Eidolon, I'm not gonna let you just remove him automatically. Oh, you have more guys. Oh, I guess I can fight. Sure. D3 mortal wounds into, hold on, how can I wrap this in such a way that works in my favor? Hmm, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, huh, there we go, ha, ha ha ha. Aha, one mortal wound! Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. This guy. Uh. Alright, we're gonna go push that trumpet. Right. So we're gonna start off with our Psy Trident. It's hitting on threes. It's wounding on threes. It has a minus two, but you're in cover, aren't you? I am. So I have a three up normally because of cover. Five up. How much damage? Two damage. So he's down to three wounds, Steve. Can you do it? I, I, no. Um, <laughs> now we have the Deep Sea Scepter hitting on threes. Futan. And well, Futan to Futan. you. <laughs> Threes. Minus one, since you're basically. Four up. Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive, Steve. I don't know why I care, but I'm gonna survive. <laughs> Storm Shawl. It's on? Two six attacks. Oh, those are the D. D two six attacks. Two D six attacks. Hitting on? Fours. Oh. Rerolling the ones. Futan! Futan and fours. Oh, oh you're gonna live. I'm gonna live. Any rent? Uh, no. Three up. That's of course what I think two wounds. I have one wound left. No. Uh, I'm down to one wound and my adjudicators are going to attack <laughs> your thralls. I drop my thunderbolt crossbows, pull out my little gladiuses. Little daggers. I hit a minus one. Normally hit on three, so hit on fours. And then my um, prime hit gets a plus one, so he's hit on threes. So two hits and one wound, no rend. Aha! I kill one! Ah. And Laker. Yeah. yeah. They're all. Battle shock. My thralls could fail on a six right there. You're good. My adjudicators have only bravery six and they lost two guys. We're good. My retributor has a bravery of 17. So he will not <laughs> he just have won't to die. roll. He just won't die. Yeah. He's immortal. Oh, and a turn two. You got oh. two more points. So you tied up three to three. It's true. Oh, this is. This is painful to watch my guys have failed so badly in that double turn, which I needed. I, I'm not out yet, but I have a funny feeling that I'm just, it's gonna be a hard game from this point out. I need to go first. Mm -hmm. I need to go first. My turn. And since I went first last time, I went on the tie. Yeah. No, I went on the tie. No, I went on the tie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the idea is that it prevents double turns. You rolled a six, so I gotta roll a six to win that. That's the opposite. So you're gonna go for the double turn? Oh, yeah. We're on turn three, you get a command point in your hero phase. Mortal wounds on them on a four plus. Mm. Yes, just one mortal wound, and a mortal wound on them on a four plus. Ooh, oh. D3 mortal wounds. Three, so you oh. killed two of them, because one I was already hurt last time. Wow! Oh <laughs> start to... A Sharn ritual first. Uh, I don't know, man, I don't believe in this thing. Oh, nine! Oh, I got it! <laughs> I don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> Told you it wasn't real. Reroll to hit! 
Yeah. So oh, he gets so hit. Should we roll casting? We roll the hit and a heal a wound. You, you're at full health. I get two to three. But the reroll and hit is going to be necessary to get that last wound on the Herald. Right? I know, I know. I'll just shoot him. They take D3 more wounds from Riptide. Riptide? One. Yeah. And then it goes away. Arcane Bolt. Oh, no! That's not how I want to go! Wait. 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 I'm going to make... No, Wait. I'm going to make you shoot... No. No. He's going to attempt to heal Volturnos. Oh, I don't care. I got it. Okay, go ahead. Oh. I'm not going to kill him, so you can have him. Ah, uh, hit the four. Jeez. Is that T3? Yeah. Okay, Arcane Bolt. Huh? From the same guy? Yeah, same guy. Need a uh, five? Ha! I get to reroll. Oh, I get to reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no! <laughs> oh, my homie goes first this turn, too. Uh, oh, yeah, you get to go first this turn. Oh, okay, well, that, you know what? That doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It does. One of Falls, falls is going to, she is one of Falls, is going to teleport herself. Go. I got it. You did. I don't think you can die that many times. I, I can't unbind that many times. I'm just going to go in. So where are you going to go? I don't know why I was thinking... Um, that you can go within three inches? Yeah. We're going to go We're gonna go over here. Somewhere nine over here. Hi, Wanda. Uh, hey. Fine. They can't move in the movement phase. All, right. All done. So we're going to go overhead and... Oh, you know what? What, Steve? We're going to stay in the hero phase. We're going to use our command ability uh, from him. I'm going to pick three units that are going to get plus one to all their attacks. Uh, so he'll take I it. I thought his command ability was plus three to their run. That's that's the command ability he uh, also gained from the The War Royal, Scroll Battalion. Yeah, Royal Got Royal. it. Okay, so who's so he give it to? It's going to be um, himself, those thralls, and that Eidolon. Got it. And we're going to run. Now you're in a turn now where you get to fight first. Oh, you did it backwards. Get him back. Get him back. Oh, he right. doesn't take the objective. You need to move on the objective with no other heroes there. So you got to move the other guy first. Yeah, my bad. So you move him away. So you've lost the objective. Uh, he knew that. I'm, I'm just telling Steve this again because yeah, he, we, he yeah. knew that. He just forgot it for a moment. And we're not in a tournament where I'm going to be like, ha ha! You, you took your finger off. And it's just bad sports, but like, it's just gonna go over here. Whoa. Oh, oh. Kill all my heroes, and I can't grab objectives. It's shooting time. We are going to shoot. I don't even think I. We're gonna shoot. I don't know. You couldn't kill a herald in close him. combat, so you might as well soften him up first, yeah, right? Yeah, we're gonna shoot him. Well, yeah. So d three times on a three rerollable because I prayed or did a ritual, and wounding on threes minus two, so five up. So five up, actually four up. He's staunch defender. He did ah. not charge. He gets an extra. Saved with a okay. six. Eidolon's gonna charge first. Anything but a double one? Hear it. Here, I'll just, there you hear it. So Volturnos did a charge to camera and hiccup. And you, you could reroll it with the. Oh, you don't have any command points. So three um, inches get you anywhere? However, I Hold think on, I moved this guy slightly. I think three inches gets you into him. I think. Yeah, even in his original spot, you were more than three and a half inches away. So that's a, a total failed, failed charge. I failed. So yeah, him wrapping around that way actually helped. Haha! <laughs> did it? How did it help? Because he would have been right here and you could have actually charged him. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's like we meet again, but you now have four wounds, which I cannot automatically kill. Okay. Everything's gonna fight first. So we're gonna start off with my reavers. Or my thralls. Three attacks each because you're plus one attack, or was it plus one to hit? I, I, I said it's plus one attack, but you know what? I'm second guessing it, so I still want to double check. Um plus one attack catcher is gonna be the weapons. Yeah. Well, we're still hitting on threes, but it's not flood tide, so we're not re-rolling yet. Oh, no more re-rolls? Oh. And threes. Yeah. Uh, we re no, we rolled none of this. That's a minus one, so I have a five up. Dang, two wounds. Okay. So you finish off the one that was wounded, and you wound the next one. Eels? Yes, so. Eels. This guy is gonna go to here. He has any close, it's just as close as. He has to stay in base and contact. And we're gonna switch these. I'm gonna try to get everybody in. Yeah. I don't know, man. Well. He's he's the retributor. You can't kill him. Yeah, they can. have so many attacks that if they fail now, then you just concede. I, I, I actually I might. I might. <laughs> one guy's hellsaber is not in range. <laughs> that's right. That's how, that's gonna lose you. Ha ha! I'm rolling ones. Why do you get to reroll what? All oh, right. Like <laughs> now you got that stupid king still alive. Should have died so much earlier. Right? Yeah. Like, how is he alive? Threes rerolling nothing. <laughs> Minus. Uh, nothing. 
I got four up saves, Steve. Yeah. And I have two wounds left. Who does? <laughs> oh, why is he living? Tails! D3 attacks each. So three, six, so nine, ten. Clearly, they can do it, right? Eleven attacks. Plus one attack on each of them because of the command ability. Hit threes on to hit. Threes re rolling because you're a Killian. Threes. Re rolling ones because they're, they're the. Fujian! Futon! 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 No rend? These are, oh. these are my defensive heals. The attack heals have good rends. What is, if you don't have any rends, then why am I even bothering to roll these? I got a four up save, man. <laughs> Stop, just die. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> I like, <laughs> killed like seven wounds. Well, I guess he died. Huh? 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 Nine attacks from that thrall unit into what, a three left of those yep. Uh Nothing special, so threes and threes. Minus one rend, so we got a one. five up, re-rolling ones. One made it so far. So three wounds. So one dies and one gets wounded. And finally the Eidolon. Into the Lord Relictor. Okay, uh, four attacks of Psy Trident because of the command ability. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. And my... My staunch defender, I've got a two up save rough, er, basically. So you're minus two, yeah. so four up. How much damage does these two do? Each. Four damage. Down to one. Got one wound left. Can right. you get that last wound, Steve? Scepter on threes. And? Threes. But what's the rend? It's a rend, so three to save. Only one. Ah, oh, you got him. He doesn't reroll ones. And I think with that, I can call it. Because at this point, I don't have enough. Like, yeah, I might be able to kill your thralls. Like, the two of them could. Because they're, you know, fours when you're on threes. But you've got enough to keep my guys back. And you've got two objectives you can just sit on with your multitudinous, multitudinous heroes. Because I could kill them. Heroes, yes. And that'll, those are just rack up points. So even though this Lord Celestant is going to be racking up points on his end, you'll have two on your end. Just, so the Cloud of Minute would activate in Matt's next shooting phase, so they couldn't even target Volturnos. Right. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's just... Anybody. Yeah, there's just nothing I can really do at this point. It all came down to that one whipped turn. I can't... Like, I, I, I was positive if you had it. Yeah, I didn't. And then, yeah. Double turn, the double turn didn't win me the game, Steve. Volturnos making all the saves. And then you got the double turn. We had two double turns. Double turns. So the double, double turn turns would be the game, though. Yeah. Well, they. I don't, I don't. But because you needed it to come back from my double turn. It's true. So, it's true. so they cancel each other out, kind of. Although, if I had rolled decently in my double turn, then. Uh, honestly, Volturnos and those and these thralls here should be dead. Yeah. Well, if, he should be dead, and they should be. Maimed. No, actually, because. Oh, well, they hadn't killed the Lord Celsus, and I would have another chance. Alive. I would have another chance to do more damage. Lord Selson kind of whiffed, and you rolled well for your saves. I rolled off five, six up, six up. Whiffing, killing your general was a big deal. That kind of then, that cascaded, because you kept getting your re-rolls, you kept getting extra objectives, because you were actually able to trade out with the Eidolon, who could go after my Knight Heralder, and now I just have nothing but a couple battle lines in my... I need more command points. Aren't they nice? Yeah, I need more command points. Yeah. All of a sudden, so you, War Scroll Battalions. Yeah. We're, we're that charge we've done a full we've done full reviews on all this in the other videos, but we can talk about it just for a minute here. So I think I think I'm always gonna try to fit at least one War Scroll Battalion in. I think I think it's a good idea. Well I know I know it's a good idea. It just what what do you give up going after certain lists? A lot of the War Scroll battalions, at least for Stormcast, went down on point, so you don't have to give up quite as well, it's much. Not that. It's um like do I wanna bring do I bring two Alvidons or I want to bring a battalion? Right. Because once you put two of them in, it's hard to get a little battalion. I think the battalion, the battalions are amazing. I think the battalions are going to be better. Yeah. And uh, and as more and more of them come out too, that'll give us more options for what we might want to do. So, yeah, that's yeah. the end of the game. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Click the link below to go and watch Steve and Quirk duke it out. Iron oh, yeah. Jaws versus... Seraphon. Seraphon. So totally, two totally different armies. Yes. And you get to see different play styles, different terrain, different scenario. Di actually fighting in one of the realms of battle it's too. Brand new Seraphon summoning. That's right, all the new stuff in summoning. the realm of beasts in our scenario. That's right, so you get to see how the realms work, summoning works, all that. At the link below in the video description. And make sure you go and watch the two videos we put up today too, all the differences from first to second, and Steve and my first impressions of Age of Sigmar as well. So thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.